about that. Uh, you said it's Adreno. Yeah, Adreno. It's like Adreno. The game coding is dope. Game coding, like you want to get into all of it because you're going to be introduced to the syntax. Anybody telling you that, like the syntax, and regardless if you're doing HTML coding, if you're making a website, if you're doing um C plus plus or Python, the language and syntax is going to like be have familiarities. So regardless of however you get your child introduced to it, having them understand that, that you can input this and you get this out helps them understand functions, helps them understand the algebraic reasoning that goes into input design at any time and however you look at it. So no, no, you shouldn't shy against anything. I just know that, you know, I want to, I'm trying to push the way we, we have an understanding of the different fields. Like right now, what I'm doing is structural design. When we look at in, in Haiti or we look at in certain parts of the you know, world, we see people who are struggling to build certain structures and they got to go to China or they got to go to Germany to get a bridge made or get a dam made or to have proper housing made or to even take advantage of the materials that you have. You see what I mean? That that really is a challenge. And to have this information in our towns and not take advantage of it. You know, this is what I'm about. You know, like not just us. There's many other people out there. Marcus Klein, Baba Amen. So there's mad other educators who are about it. But all of it is connected together now. You see what I mean? Because you got 3D design, and with computer animated design, you can take what you design in structures and print it. Then at the same time, with Arduino, a computer, uh, like a, a 3D machine is just a three-axis device. You can program that with Arduino. You got dudes that are taking the CD machines out of computers, this old CD rays, and turning that into a 3D printer. They're turning that into itching um, etching machines. So all of that involves code. Now you may take that code right there and say, you know what? I want to be able to relate this to Kwame or somebody else so they can be able to get the information in real time. That's a private server website. You see what I mean? That's not a regular website. And so being able to code, like I do RC cars. I'm a big ass, I'm a big kid. But we got the crazy RC collection. Anybody in New York that's into RCs, we got the crazy, crazy oh, collection. Man. The kids build these from scratch. They redesign them. We got a rail car up there. We man, that's cold. You see what I mean? Like big oh, programming. Yeah, Normally, if y'all remember back in the days, that was stuff the only the Italians and the rich white kids got to have fun with. Like the kids in here break them, rebuild them, put them back together, burn them out, run them through water. And man, but my that's goal. Cold. But I, my goal is to get them to be able to code that. Yeah. So when I throw them online, I'm like, look, when we, when you, when like, if you download certain apps, you want to be able to use the app on your phone, right? So somebody had to design the app for your phone to be able to connect with the device in there. So there's something called Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you heard, you heard of Internet of Things. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, you want to get so this is connected. So right now they put in sensors and everything. So they put in sensors in cars. They put in sensors in your wheels. They put in sensors in your doors. They put in sensors in your washing machines. They put in sensors in clothes. They got sensors in the barrels of guns. They got sensors in glasses. And the tool to connect all of these devices is the internet. So right now Dell and other corporations is trying to get as much sensors together to collaborate the information to turn the world into like this one big living cell but off of coding and the information that's transferred from these devices that have sensors in it. So right now the push is to put sensors in everything. So the connectivity between machine coding and website coding, that's what it is to take me able to be able to compete with these Indians now. These Indian kids, these Chinese kids are walking out at 17 years old. They can recognize components. I'm telling black kids, people, if your child cannot recognize components, what a capacitor is, a transistor is. They can't recognize what a two-stroke engine, four-stroke engine. They don't know what a differential is. They don't understand trigonometry, calculus, um, statistics. They're not competing in the world right now. And our community won't be able to compete and will consistently be consumers and people who live in the area where the materials are being harnessed from to make, to make the materials. You know what I mean? When we live in Haiti, all this, you know, we, we have to be able to, to refine what's going on in these things. And I keep doing it with Haiti because all the stuff, the situation going on in Haiti is in my mind right now. But we got to be able to take care of ourselves. You see what I mean? No matter where we at, and the scientists right now that's sitting in these books that white people don't think we're going to read is readily available for us to be able to teach ourselves. You know, but being able to compete, that's everything. And you know that you was at one point the greatest basketball player in the country for your age. So you know what it's all about to be able to compete. And it always it doesn't stop. There's just levels to it. You see what yeah. I mean? Like you might be this the level. First step, the first step I see the internet is, is making these kids fearful. 
you know, the first step is showing up. You know, a lot of our kids are afraid to fail because they don't see a lot of people around them winning unless they're in the streets. So I was never afraid to fail. Yeah. So I, I opened businesses that failed and all kind of stuff, but I've learned from it. And, I, and I've been, I've become somebody who pretty much know what I'm doing just because of bumping my head. <laughs> but I wouldn't suggest everybody learn that way. I would suggest everybody do. do it your way, which is get the knowledge first. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you gotta fail. I, I don't even use the word failure no more. That's that's part of like that's part of the lessons, bro. Like yeah, that's I gotta like, like, say that failure equals lessons. I like to tell the kids, y'all gonna get burned by the glue gun, right? Yeah, yeah. Are, are you gonna are you allowed to cry? Yeah, you're gonna get burned. So you don't don't even look at the glue gun and don't sign your kid up to the program for STEM. If you go, you you make an engine, your hand gonna get caught in the clamp. You play basketball, yeah. your yeah. feet gonna hurt. Your knees are gonna get messed up. You practice yeah. fighting, you gonna get kicked in the face, like. You want to be yep. a cop, you might get shot. It's Hold on, just, give me a minute. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> right, Joshua? So, you know, and that, that's, that's the reality that, that, to me, I think I will, and I, that's why I hate that you and Hassan, I know everybody got personalities that don't work, and I get it, you know what I mean? It's just, but I feel like we represent an urban claw. Whether or not you might, like, I wasn't this, I'm not a gangster. You know, I graduated on Rikers Island because I was being a derelict, being a follower, and I woke up on, I'm sadly woke up on Rikers Island. I have my parents, my father's there, my mother's there, married, still married. And derelictism is just derelictism. We got to take accountability for it. And but I think we represent a certain claw. We wear our hats a certain way, we talk a certain way, and the youth resonate with us. And I think, you know, whatever time it takes, we really just got to find a way to connect the dots that we can for the purposes of it. You know, between you and Hassan's platform, shout out to Sanetta, shout out to my brother Doggy. Shout out to even Tommy Soderman. There's so many brothers, people watching us, brothers, that like we can make effective change. That's that's what I've yeah. got. And I see that's what you're but, trying to do. And that's what I want to do. But he got to, people like Hassan got to be pulled, somebody that knows him got to pull his coattail because what he's promoting to these kids, just because we black and just because we grew up in the area, don't the way he speaks to another man and on the streets, that's going to get somebody hurt. So you shouldn't, I would never approach another man with that much aggression. I would never make insertions about a man that I do not know and never, never met. <laughs> so it's a way, it's a code of conduct in a way I learned to speak to a man from a man, you know, and being in the South, we never, we, we don't do that. We don't get in your business. We don't, we'll speak to you. We don't, we don't want no problems because what's the point? Somebody can lose their life over some nonsense. And I think the lack of communication in battles, I don't care how much education you get, the first thing you have to learn how to do is communicate the thing. And, and most people don't know how to do that. Now that's a fact. You know, this is all one big teaching moment. You know, like I heard you say that before, like it's, this is public lessons. I was shout out my man Taz. You know, like we were just talking about that yesterday. Sometimes we, we learn in public. You know what I mean? We really learn it publicly. I'll see you. you, you the, right kids are, the kids are looking up to us. Play, you know what I yep. mean? If you guys are hood legends, if yeah. is, uh, Hassan is a hood legend, yeah. and the kid yeah. looking yeah. up to him yeah. like that, yeah. and he telling people, yeah. rock a nigga's not boxing, being that aggressive at his age, that no kid need to see that. You know what I mean? And that extra disrespect where he was talking about.